Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The church of the province of Tomarza in Kesaria is completely abandoned. Prime Minister of Armenia is in Vietnam. Foreign ministers of Armenia and Artsakh held consultations on the Gorno Karabakh conflict. S-400 systems could be delivered to Turkey next week. 284 robotic laboratories to be established in Armenian schools. 7.1 magnitude earthquake strikes California. The historic Armenian St. Bogos Petros Church in the province of Tomarza in Kesaria is in danger of being demolished. The church was built in 1837 and at the same period it was used as a warehouse and cinema. Because of the lack of renovation for a long time, cracks appeared on the facing stone section and the roofs covered with the grass are cracked. The authorities have drafted a reconstruction project for the church but it has not been implemented yet. It should be noted that the church is an important historical and architectural structure that should be immediately repaired. Armenian delegation led by Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan arrived in Vietnam on Friday. Pashinyan laid a wreath at the memorial of the fallen soldiers. During the visit, Nikol Pashinyan met with the Prime Minister of Vietnam. Later, the heads of the government of two countries addressed the mass media representatives, summarizing the results of the talks. Prime Minister Pashinyan met with the Speaker of the National Assembly of Vietnam and also visited Armenian Embassy in Vietnam. On a working visit to the Artsakh Republic, Armenian Foreign Minister Zohrab Mnatsakanyan met with his Artsakh counterpart Masis Maelian. Mnatsakanyan stressed the importance of holding regular meetings in this format as a good opportunity to reflect on the current stage of the Artsakh peace process and to outline the further steps, the Foreign Minister's press service reported. They touched upon a number of issues related to the Artsakh peace process. Both sides stressed the necessity of taking real steps towards forming favorable atmosphere for forwarding the peace process. Natsakanyan and Mayelian touched upon the cooperation between the foreign ministries of the two countries in different spheres and the bilateral steps towards expanding Artsakh's involvement in international processes. At the end of the meeting, the foreign minister signed a plan of consultation between the Armenian and Artsakh foreign ministries for 2019-2020. Washington has announced to impose sanctions when S-400 air defense systems start arriving in Turkey. According to Hubert Turk, the initial supply of the S-400 will be carried out from the Russian military airbase. It is also reported that the Russian technical group, which will follow S-400 installation, will arrive in Turkey on Monday. Washington officially launched the process of excluding Turkey from the F-35 program. A total of 834 million dirhams will be allocated for the creation of robotic laboratories in Armenian schools. The relevant decision was made during the government's meeting. Minister of Education, Science, Culture and Sport Arai Karutunyan personally presented this initiative. Research shows that this is a good investment in the development of robotics as well as engineering and technological thought and may further affect the economy, said Harutinian, adding that the next time there will be a competition for the creation of these laboratories in which will participate other organizations too. An earthquake with a magnitude of 7.1 hit Southern California Friday evening, just one day after another massive quake hit the region on the 4th of July. According to the United States Geological Survey, the quake occurred around 8.19 p.m. local time. California residents took to social media and tweeted out videos of what the quake looked like for them. Now let us represent to your attention a song from Poretan. <laughs> Find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.